some powerful tools and powerful techniques uh, which will give you uh, the essence to sit and then you can flow. Uh, before I start, I was planning this class, I was thinking I'm going to sit with you for one and a half hours, just sit and do nothing. And then it came to my mind uh, at the end of this session, many of you may complain saying we did nothing. Uh, for them, although the aim of this class is to sit, how I wish in the near future, we could just sit for one and a half hour and do nothing. Although we will be diving into this sacred space, it's called the quantum vacuum. Quantum vacuum. Uh, that is the closest translation to what the ancient sages describe as uh, Shunya, Shunya, Antra Sunam, Bahir Sunam, Trebhavan Sun Masunam, Chautha Sunna, Jo Narjane, Taku Pap Napunan. When the inner silence, the inner vacuum, inner nothingness, and the outer nothingness unites, and the three realms of time collapses. And then there's no difference between the outer emptiness and the inner emptiness. Then an individual is not affected by the duality of life. In other words, the flow of life. So today's session, we will be diving through some movements. And then finally, towards the end, the aim of all the yogic practices from 90,000 years ago till today, the only one aim. It is not positive thinking. It is not putting intention. It is nothing like that. That is our creation. The aim of a yogic teachings from 90,000 years ago till now that you and me are sitting because the stars have become aligned. There have been only one reason and that is uh, antra sunam bahir sunam to become aware of the inner emptiness and the outer emptiness and see the collapsing of the three realms so let's start our journey on this beautiful day spine straight <coughs> spine straight and cross your legs if you can if you for some reason can't cross your legs you can sit on uh, uh, on a chair uh, the moment you cross your legs and the spine is straight the five pranas the five pranas your soul your soul is segmented into five i repeat i go slow and i repeat and the reason for repeating is so that we can get it's not about information understanding it is about realization. So your soul is segmented into five segments. Prana, Apana, Samana, Udhyana, and Vyana. One is circulating everywhere. A part of you is higher up in the body. A part of you is lower up in the body. The part of you is trying to connect all the other parts together. So these are the five Pranas. And when your spine is straight, and your legs are crossed. According to the yogic teachings, if you can just sit like that. In fact, one of the greatest Zen masters by the name of Rinzai, uh, a seeker came to him and asked him, can you give me the ultimate meditation? And he said, spine straight, eyes closed. And the seeker said, give me more details. This is uh, too, too little to understand. And Rinzai said, spine straight, eyes closed and sit. And the seeker again said, that is not enough details. And Rinzai said, anything more than that, anything more than this, is the play of the mind. My friends, 
every truth every wisdom every word of wisdom is completed in three sentences only only three sentences and that is why also in the beginning of our yogic teachings we chant ong namo gurudev namo three times truth is only repeated three times and this is a very sacred ancient secret in the past when the seeker when the seeker and uh, coming back rinzai you know he said spine straight eyes closed and sit that's it three in the past when the seekers uh, in past were different days they were seekers and they were the one um, there were individuals we call masters uh, now there are no seekers and there are no masters although they are the problem is uh, through seekers are uh, seeking at the wrong place so coming back to our story three uh, statements is enough and that is why <clears throat> ong namo <clears throat> gurudev namo is chanted three times <clears throat> and i'm coughing not because of coronavirus <clears throat> just that i had my breakfast right <clears throat> so ong namo gurudev namo three times and this is one of the most beautiful mantras ever recited on the surface of uh, the earth ong namo gurudev namo it is a mantra of reverence we are talking about the three times right the wisdom is only revealed the the key to unlock your consciousness it just needs the mantra to be repeated three times just three times everything else is a repetition and this three times sometimes never happens even when you are chanting it three times and that's why we are constantly told to chant the mantra again and again and again why because you don't know how to chant three times and how to chant the three times ong namo gurudev namo in the past when the seekers used to go to the master to receive the mantra from the lotus mouth of the master whose tongue has been awakened tongue has been awakened why because the tongue and the breath and the navel are united and the spine is straight and they know how to fold their hands which means reverence a master is always a student a master is the one who stays in the concept in the consciousness of a receiver that's why he's a master hmm? so <clears throat> putting the alignment hmm? and the three times it never happens as i was mentioning so ong namo gurudev namo uh, this mantra is the most beautiful mantra on on the planet earth it is the mantra of reverence yeah. it tells you it makes you realize that you are a seeker you are a student always a student that's what the mantra means to be very frank with you ong namo gurudev namo means i am not a teacher ong namo gurudev namo means i am a student i am a seeker i am the one who is ready to receive and when you receive that can glow out of you that can flow out of you and that is called teaching through your presence and that happens if you are a student so ong namo gurudev namo mantra of reverence <clears throat> now <clears throat> reverence is very important <clears throat> one of the reasons why we as a society we as a, you know a collective humanity is a suffering is because we have lost reverence for the oceans we have lost reverence for the trees we have lost reverence for the oceans 
we have lost reverence to the skies we have lost reverence to the sun we have lost reverence to the moon we have lost reverence to the stars and i can go one and a half hour just telling you what we have lost reverence for this mantra teaches us the first step to realization first step to awakening of your consciousness first step to awakening of your heart we call it love it teaches you how to fall in love from here to here the reference have to be shifted before you can receive these teachings and the problem is today despite doing these teachings for years and years and years we have not fallen from here to here this mantra teaches us reverence <clears throat> reverence for the sun and reverence for the moon have you bowed to the moon have you bowed to the sun have you bowed to the oceans have you bowed to and the most important most important my friends from all these reverences that i have been discussing with you the most important reverence and that is the reverence for the animals reverence for the animals third time reverence for the animals we have lost it and the cosmos will not forgive us for doing that we have rights for everything but we have not worked on the rights of the animals and one of the theories suggests that this whatever is happening came from the animals and the reason for that again is the conflict between our world and the world of the divine so this mantra is the mantra of reverence never jump in never never go into meditation without this mantra my friends or you will go mad there have been this problems going on where people want to change people want to throw go ahead do it experiment and see what happens enough of madness have happened this mantra is the maha mantra you shall never assess your heart without the tuning yourself into this mantra ong namo gurudev namo mantra of reverence in the words of you i'm going slow let's talk then we do something and not blindly jumping into and doing all these things you have to prepare the space and that space have to be prepared when this receives wisdom and that's what i'm giving you my friends through the grace of guru ram das and the guidance of my beloved master i'm giving you that star and those who were supposed to receive will receive and those who shall not is because of doubts so let's come back to our subject ong namo gurudev namo mahavira the great sage the great tirantakar of jain tradition the tradition of the uh, genies the genies the jains jainism jain dharma that is the exact beautiful word jain dharma the dharma of the genies you know the genie and the lamp came from their tradition the sages of the lamp when somebody asked him o tirantakar a great awakened sage that's what it means can you give me the secret of life what have you attained and he says my whole teachings can be referenced can be uh, summarized into just one sutra and that sutra is have reverence for reverence have reverence for reverence and that is the essence of all the ancient traditions reverence for reverence all the traditions that came from the earth their whole aim is reverence not going up it's going down so this mantra namo means i am not ong namo gurudev namo na 
na means no and mo means i na mo means i am not ong namo ong the universal consciousness is i am not gurudev that wisdom which is available in the form of the present moment that transparent wisdom to that is i am not that's what it means and let me give you another beautiful meaning of this ong namo gurudev namo when you recite it three times it means joyful namo the word namo just the word namo means joyful body joyful mind joyful consciousness that's what it means when you recite it three times when these three are in joy when these three are in joy and when you tune in these three times the lock of the consciousness the lock of the ultimate realization only need to be twisted three times the moment you twist it the fourth time the lock of awakening never happens i repeat the lock that will ultimately unlock you from you the lock that will unlock you from you not from anything else you have your own concepts own ideas the universe has its own flow and the conflict happens and this happens in the form of relationship in the form of all the issues in the form of stress in the form of depression in the form of this world lockdown and the beautiful sutra in the ancient passages once a shiva was ours uh, who is an awakened one and shiva said one of the most beautiful sutras he says siddha siddha Swahatantra Bhava. If I was to translate this, beautiful. Siddha Swahatantra Bhava, which means one who is free of himself or herself is the awakened one. That's it. It's not about awakening the chakras. It's not even about awakening the kundalini. It's not even about holding the breath. It's not even holding the posture. It's not about doing the three stages. It's not about doing the twenty-one stages. It's not about doing the four levels or three levels or hundred levels. All these is the play of the human ego. The only one siddha swahatantra bhava. That's it. When these three. mind body and consciousness are in joy and you lock yourself from you unlock yourself from the unlock you lock yourself you unlock yourself from the lock of the self then you are free and that happens when these three body mind and consciousness is in joy is in tune and you chant this mantra three times journey is over it's very simple <clears throat> but because this is not happening we do it again and again and again but this dharma is simple so my friends om namo gurudev namo three times let's tune in and let's tune in with the stars beautiful spine straight hands in the center of the chest and eyes eyes which holds a memory eyes holds memory you're blinking the eye because of the thoughts in the head a newborn child never blinks he never blinks for days i don't know if you have ever noticed a newborn child never blinks for days and then when for the first time the child blinks pattern is created you are in a pattern pattern is karma karma is dukha and sukha what is dukha and sukha 
Dukha is the pattern that irritates you. Sukha is the pattern that makes you happy. So there are some patterns we want to do it again and again, and some pattern we want to repel. Anything that repels you is called dukkha. Anything that attracts you is called sukha. There is only two patterns, and ultimately this pattern is there because of the blinking of the eye. And the blinking of the eye starts the first pattern. And that blinking of the eye means now you are established in the realm of karma. Karma is pattern. Everything is pattern. Everything around you is a pattern. And the problem is those who don't learn from these patterns. they are stuck in the samsara and those who learn from the patterns they attain dharma you learn from karma so that you can attain to dharma as long as dharma is not realized out of the pattern of the karma you keep going is called the reincarnation of consciousness sitting again and again doing again and again and again and this all can be realized with just om namo gurudev namo three times the maha mantra so the blinking of the eye spine straight hands in the center of the chest and the eye is blinking because there is a pattern the first blink created the pattern i repeat i am repeating myself i learn to i love to repeat because out of this repetition you can learn dharma sometimes our mind which only can pay attention for 7 seconds a fish according to some research is 9 seconds we as humans can only have the caliber of 7 seconds and that's why i love to repeat because when you repeat from this pattern from this karma you can learn the dharma so for the sake of that i have to repeat so the blinking of the eye so the yogi say as long as the eye is blinking mind is running as long as the mind is running dukha and sukha is coming in and out you are in the pattern you are stuck in the realm of karma so the yogis gave a sign he say close your eyes that's it finish no blinking of the eye no shifting of the mind and that's the first step the eye is closed because eye has memory now not just the blinking of the eye has to stop the movement of the two eye balls we call the pupils have to stop and just with this my friends remember the rinzai we started of the story spine straight the moment the spine is straight automatically the five winds the ru the soul which is segmented can be aligned just with that the problem is we don't do it enough and then eyes close when the eyes are closed a memory is shut the pattern the blinking of the eye the blinking of the mind the blinking of the mind the blinking of dukha and sukha we call the samsara the will of samsara is not out there it is right here and that stops the alignment or the relaxation of your pupils the relaxation the stillness of the eyes is followed by that and then you hands in the center of the chest that's it that's it and if you were to just sit like that according to the sages of the past if you can just sit like that for two and a half hours why two and a half hours because the breath changes its flow ida to pingala pingala to ida when this is activated this is activated when this is activated this is activated ordinarily according to some it is according to your mindset and your circumstances and your environment it may change the duration but every two and a half hours the nostrils change life changes if you can sit with any change that is happening for two and a half hours then something happens and that is called kara math kara math okay those of you who recite the mantra tan tan ram das gur jin sirya utne savarya puri hoi kara math aap sirjan hare tarya that sutra kara math it's translated as a miracle but kara math means when you can sit with any change that is happening from the other side not that you want to change it's not based on your intention it's not based on your attention it is based on the flow 
of the cosmos. You as an, not as an individual, but you as part and parcel of the whole, if you can sit with that, then a karamat happens. Karamat, beautiful word. A flow happens, a miracle happens. Maybe in the next session, I would love to test this out where we just sit for longer. Today, let's set this alignment and this assignment and whatever you want to call this to understand what we are doing. Spine straight, hands in the center of the chest and eyes close. And as you close the eyes, my friends, listen, memory, we are shutting it up. Now, the eyeballs must not move also. Let's sit this, with this for 30 seconds. You shall not move, eyes close. Beautiful, beautiful. Hands in the center of the chest. And I trust you are doing this. I trust you are doing this. And even if you are not doing this, it's also beautiful. Let it be. I'm not interested in who does or who don't do. I'm doing my job, sharing with you the wisdom. Spine straight, my friends. Hands in the center of the chest. Let the reverence be awakened. Let the reverence be awakened. Eyes are shut and eyes are closed. And the eyeballs, so the pupils are not moving. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Eyes don't move. Eyes don't move. Eyes don't move. Spine straight. Spine straight. Hands the center of the chest. My friends, let the alignment happen now. In your mind, reverence for the sun, the moon, the ocean, the mountain, the animals, the lakes, the rivers, the sacred sites, the sacred fires, the sacred stones. Beautiful, my friends, beautiful. Now, as you are in this posture, inhale and hold the breath, hold the breath. Let this breath be the breath of the oceans. Hold, hold the breath of the oceans, the breath of the oceans, the depth of the oceans, the depth of the oceans, hold. Hold, it's not your breath. It is the breath of the oceans. And through the nose, exhale. One more time, inhale. And hold. And as you hold this breath, let this breath be the breath of the mountains. The breath of the mountains. The breath of the mountains. Spine straight, hands in the center of the chest. The eyeballs are not moving. The eyes are closed. It's not your breath. It is the breath of the mountains. Feel the vastness, the expansiveness, the steadiness, the stillness of the mountains. Invoke the mountains within yourself. Forget your individual. That's what Om Namo means. I am not. Hold. And exhale. One more time, inhale and hold. And let this breath be the breath of the rivers. Hold, hold, hold. If you're doing it right, my friends, your body starts to heat up. Your body starts to heat up. This is called the yoga agni. The rivers, the Ganga, the Ganges, the wave, the sacred rivers, 
corresponding to the 72,000 nadis in the body. Hold this breath of the rivers. It's not your breath, my friends. So you shall not move. You shall not move. Eyes still, hands in the center of the chest, spine straight, alignment with that which flows. Hold, 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 and exhale. And now we shall tune in with Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo. <coughs> Two breath, eyes closed. <coughs> Om stars hold spine straight hands in the center of the chest eyes are still eyes are still don't move your eyes 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 hold exhale And one more time, inhale and hold. And as you hold, let this breath be the breath of the trees. The breath of the trees. The breath of the trees. Eyes still. Eyes still. Eyes still. And exhale. For the last time, inhale and hold. And let this breath be the breath of the solar system. Hold, hold, hold. Spine straight, hands in the center of the chest. Eyes don't move. Eyes are still. Eyes are still. Eyes are still. And exhale. And just for 30 seconds, don't move.
try not to entertain the thoughts in your head. Don't move. Eyes are still. And I repeat the story. Rinzai was asked. Spine straight, eyes closed, sit. Everything else is the play of the mind. Meditation has started and meditation has come to an end. With this realization, inhale and hold and exhale. And very slowly, please open your eyes. And Satana. <clears throat> so it took us one and a half hour. Hmm? And how? So we started at 11 o'clock. It took us about 40 minutes to tune in. So let's start our practice. And our practice uh, for the day before we go into sitting, uh, hands on the uh, Gyan Mudra, Gyan Mudra, which is your thumb and your uh, the thumb, which is your ego, and your guru, the guidance finger, combined together. Uh, place it here. And I want you to start with O mouth, breath of fire. Eyes close, eyes close, eyes close, and start this for one and a half minute, please. <clears throat> keep up, keep up. Oh, mouth, breath of fire. Spine straight, eyes close, spine straight, keep up, keep up, keep up. Now as you are doing this, feel the breath in the chest. And the pumping is being done at the navel and the sensation is being felt in the heart. Beautiful, keep up, keep up. The pump is in the navel and the sensations is being felt in the heart and the throat center is being activated. Keep up my friends. O mouth, breath of fire, O. Really make a O mouth and allow the Ru, the spirit, <coughs> the breath to come in and out. Beautiful. Beautiful. 30 seconds left. 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 Beautiful. Keep up. Okay. Beautiful. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, hold, and hold, and hold, and hold, and hold, and exhale. Okay, one of the reasons why I started our session with your mouth is because when the left nostril is working, Hmm. Left nostril is active. Uh, left nostril is uh, uh, karmic prana. Karmic prana. And the right nostril is wisdom prana. These are the two pranas. The karmic prana and the wisdom prana. <clears throat> so you are shifting yourself from karmic prana to wisdom prana is going on. 
And when you are inhaling and exhaling through the your mouth, that is called the neutral prana. Uh, you are not assessing, listen, you are not assessing to your samsaric or the prana that you have earned. This is the prana which you have earned, which you have accumulated. You are assessing the raw neutral prana of the cosmos. And this is the secret to long life. And this is how the yogis used to uh, prolong their life. Now, uh, it's not that simple. So as you are inhaling and exhaling through the O mouth, and if your eyes stop moving really still, and the whole body is still, and spine is straight, and your posture is held for 200 breaths. So I'm teaching you how to assess the cosmic prana, not the prana which you have accumulated due to your karma. So our prana is due to karma. So prana is life, prana is karma, prana is pattern. You, I hope that makes sense so far. So what is happening, instead of assessing the prana which you have been given due to your accounts, you are saving that prana and you are assessing the direct wisdom or the direct neutral prana, sorry, the word is neutral prana, shunya prana through the O mouth. And according to the yogic signs, when you inhale, exhale through the O mouth, the mind becomes balanced. So this near nostril, this side of the hemisphere is working, this side, this side, the hemisphere is working. So when you do not inhale and exhale through these, both the hemisphere become neutral and that is called samadhi, sama. Sama means balance. So you're neither on the left, you're neither on the right. So the two extremes, the duality, you cannot experience the world in its totality. You always focus, you always segment what you see. An example of this, as you are seeing me, you only see me. Although this is in your vision, you may have not even noticed it. Although this is in your vision, you may have not noticed it. And this is also in your vision, but you have not noticed it because the way our vision works, or the way we survive in this realm of matrix is by focusing. And that focus limits your awareness. Hmm? And this is the art of expanding your awareness. When you are focused, the mind is active. Hmm? The thoughts are active. And because the thoughts are active and the thoughts can only bring you in the past or they can only bring you in the future, they cannot bring you in the now, you miss the present moment, you miss the access to consciousness, you miss to the realm of awareness, you get lost in the realm of focus, okay? So you get stuck in the matrix of existence. Now, when you inhale, exhale through the your mouth, and when the eyes are still, although we did this for one and a half minutes, most of us, even by doing one and a half minutes, we did not assess the cosmic prana, why? because the eyes were still moving, the eyelids were still moving, the eyeballs were still moving. And this is the power of the posture, the asana. So that's why when you hold any posture for two and a half hours without the movement, without the movement from your side, which is your ego, uh, your identity. And I hope this is making sense. So now, when you become still, when you become still, and the sutra in the Patanjali, you know, stiraha, stiraha, sukham, asanam. What is asana? When you are established, when you are still, sukham, and you are at ease. The problem is most of us, we are never at ease in any posture. Even sitting like this, if we were to sit for one and a half hours, for example, even 30 minutes, a part of you will want you to move your knees. A part of you want to adjust. So this adjustment continues. This is a movement from your side. 
And when it comes from your side, the cosmos cannot open itself to you. You're still having the barrier of I am here and that is there. So the collapsing of there and here, time and space must collapse. The realm of Kaal, which is the realm of duality, have to be still so that from the Kaal, our Kaal can be experienced. And that is why in, when somebody passes away, we chant the Akal, it's to break them out of the matrix of duality, right and wrong, life and death. That is duality. And the reason you chant Akal is to make that consciousness which have left the human realm to give her a clear signal, a clear mantra, a clear, clear direction that you are that which is neither in the realm of life and death, right and wrong. The two extremes is there because you focus yourself to a specific location. You become localized consciousness. And because you go into a localized consciousness, then the pattern starts. So this is the way of experiencing unlocalized consciousness or awareness known as Samadhi. So when you are sitting in any posture, specifically in this posture that I've been discussing with you, so all mouth, breath of fire, when the eyes are still, when the whole body is still, even for a few moments, you will find a shift, a subtle shift happening in you. And this shift, a subtle shift is not you doing it. Something else has taken over you. You are slowly dissolving your individual story, your idea about where the posture is right and where the posture is wrong, where it is 90 degrees and where it is 60 degrees. This is all you and your human realm. When you can just sit with it, sthirha, sukham, asanam, then the cosmos possesses you and adjustment starts to happen in you. And sensations will be felt from the other side, not from your side. Your desire to move have dissolved and because your desire has stopped, the cosmos of hukam it is called. The will, the will of the divine is you and me shall always be in the state of sat, chit, anand. Awakened in this realm of reality and in the realm of bliss. And that is not assessed because you focus on something. So when you sit with this posture and you allow what is happening to happen, automatically the prana, the two pranas, shuts, mind balances and the cosmic prana is assessed and samadhi is attained. And this is how it is described. And why is there a hindrance? The hindrance is because of you. Every Kriya promises you to assess the space of Sat, Chit, Ananda. That's the promise. But the problem is your desire to reach there becomes the hindrance. In the words of Rumi, between me and the cosmos, I am the hindrance. Please remove me. That's what he says. So this is the Kriya to assess the cosmic prana. Although I had something else in mind today. And I wanted to tissue this. And I'm going to tissue that next week. And we will be doing a very sacred and a secret Kriya next week, which comes from the teachings of the Maha Siddhas, the 84 Siddhas, a very powerful Kriya that will open up all the 72,000 alignments in the body. Although, as I mentioned, it, my aim was today, but we don't have time for that. And I just want to tissue this. This is more important today. So we can be prepared for ourselves next week. So let's do this Kriya again. And no movement of the eye. No movement of the eye, no movement of the body, spine straight, my friends, you are here, I'm here, and we have time, we have a lot of time. So let's unite and let's create a change uh, within, okay? Spine straight, ohm out. Now, after some time, become aware, please. Make sure these two nostrils, chances are, well, even while you're inhaling, exhaling, and pumping through the whole mouth, chances are your nostrils, there will still be sensations. That has to stop. And that will stop if your eyes stop moving. Eye moving, the stopping of the eye means the pupils, the eyeballs shall not move. 
At times should come only the breath, the sound of the breath. The breath has a song. The breath has a texture. The breath has a texture. And the breath has an aroma. Because your soul has an aroma. Because your soul has a song. You have to hear the song. Now, exactly after one and a half minutes, my friends, I humbly request you, forget yourself and listen to the song of your breath, the song of your soul. Okay, let's do this. Eyes close and <clears> oh <throat> mouth, just the movement of the navel must happen. And it should go into a kind of pattern, a kind of drum where you dissolve yourself. You know the sacred fire? Look at me for a second. The sacred fire. Hmm? And you start throwing everything into it. For those of you who know, you start throwing everything into it and it starts burning you. Everything. And what does that mean? This is the navel, the fire pit. This is what it means. This is the true yagya. This is the true havan. This is the true fire uh, worship. Your navel, your fire pit, your navel pit, your belly button. So everything goes in, your story goes in, burns. Shh. Everything goes in, burns. And then you come to the quantum vacuum. Shunya. Uh, don't move the eyes, that's all. Okay, we're gonna do this for three minutes. Okay, spine straight, eyes don't move. Oh mouth, breath of fire. And I can move because I need to talk with you. I hope you will understand this, okay? Okay, eyes close and don't move the eyes. Don't move the eyes, beautiful. Don't move the eyes, don't move the eyes. Yes, perfect. Now make a O mouth. As you make a O mouth, your jaws are relaxed. Spine is straight and relax the heart, relax the navel. I'll be guiding you. I'll be guiding you through this. So let's start our journey. O mouth, breath of fire. Keep up. Simple, keep up. Beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Don't move the spine. <clears throat> Don't move the eyes. Feel the sensations in your chest. <clears throat> Feel the sensations in your chest. Feel the sensations in your chest and the sensations in the navel. <coughs> Don't move the eyes. Don't move the eyes. Listen to the song of your breath. Listen to the song of your breath. Listen to the song of your soul. Spine straight. Any movement that is happening other than the pumping of the navel should not be by you. Should not be by you. Beautiful. Open up. Put, open up. Open up. Eyes close. Open your space. Open your space. Feel the sensations. Something starts to change. Uh, the cosmos is coming in in the form of your spirit, in the form of your soul, and it's giving a life, giving life to the matter we call the body. So the union of the spirit and the matter, we call it the kiss of Shiva and Shakti. You are Shakti. You are Shakti. You are matter. And Shiva coming in through the two lips. Beautiful. Beautiful. Feel the sensation in the lips. The, up, the upper lips is the heavenly planets, the planets of the devas, the realm of the devas. Beautiful. And the lower lip is the realm of the demons. And in between is the realm of the humans. So now I want you to disassociate yourself with the realm of the devas and the realm of the demons. The dev and death there they are called. 
in between the human realm. Through the human realm, you can escape the samsara. You can escape the cycle of coming and going. Beautiful, beautiful. Now make sure your nostrils are not being impacted by this. Make sure the breath, put an intention there. Please make sure the breath is coming out and in through the whole mouth. There should not be a slight release of air or wind or prana or the breath through the nostrils. You are transcending the karmic prana and you are transcending the wisdom prana, the prana which you have accumulated. You are saving that. You are preserving that. You are assessing the, the flawless, the flawless prana. Uh, beautiful, pure prana it is called. And with all these lockdown in the world, the prana at this moment is most pure. There is no pollution anymore. You are inhaling pure life, my friends. Blessings in disguise. Those who have wisdom, they attain the prana. They assess their root. They assess their soul. They assess the spirit. This is the spirit talking with you. This is the soul talking with you. This is the mountains communicating with you. This is the oceans communicating with you, my friends. There's no other communication. Everything else is the play of the mind. This is the pure communication. This is the conscious communication. This is the conscious communication. This is the only conscious communication where your breath coming and going and you are hearing the flute of life. In the words of Rumi, hear the flute. In the words of Rumi, my friends, go deeper. Go deeper. Go deeper. Go deeper. Hear the flute. Hear the flute. In the realms, in the words of Rumi, Hear the flute of life. Hear the flute of life. Hear the flute of life. In the words of Shiva, hear the drum of Shiva. The drum of Shiva. The drum of your Shiva. The drum of consciousness, my friends. Keep up, keep up. Just for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Beautiful. You're doing it great. Louder. Louder. Play the drum. Now, as you are playing with this breath, two things are happening. One is listening, listening, suniya, listening, suniya, Siddh Pir Suranath. Forget everything, forget your story, forget your mind, forget your concepts, forget your right, forget your wrong, forget your left, forget your right. Just become aware of the prana, become aware of your ru, the ru, the spirit, the soul, the consciousness is the breath, is the breath. Now, as you're listening, two things are happening. Some of you will hear the flute and some of you will hear the drum and some of you will hear both. So my friends, please hear whatever you are hearing. Don't try to find anything. Let the sound be revealed to you. Neither the realm of the gods, neither the realm of the demons in between the two where the secrets are revealed. My friends, spine straight. We are almost there. Eyes closed. And don't move the eyeballs. Please stop moving the eyes. The pupils of your eyes holds the secret now. When the pupils are not moving, when the eyes are not moving, the windows of your soul is assessed. The windows of your soul opens. The windows of your soul opens. The windows of your soul opens. Last 15 seconds. Keep up, keep up. The windows of your soul opens when the windows don't move. The windows of your soul. The eyes are the windows of your soul. The eyes are the windows of your soul. And the windows will open when your eyes are not moving. When your eyes are not moving. When the windows are not moving, then the soul is assessed. When the soul is assessed. Beautiful, my friends. Inhale, hold mouth. And hold. Eyes close. Eyes close. Eyes closed, hold and hold. <clears throat> o mouth exhale. O mouth inhale and exhale. Keep up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, O mouth, keep up, exhale, O mouth, keep up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, keep up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
Exhale, louder. Inhale, exhale, louder. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Oh, mouth, inhale, oh, mouth, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and hold. And as you hold your breath, I want you to tense your soles, your feet, your soles. Tense, 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 tense. And oh, mouth, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Louder. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, O oh mouth, exhale, O oh mouth. Keep up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, hold. And please tense your legs and your soles. Your legs and your soles and your feet, all the lower body. Tense, tense the lower body only, below your navel. Tense, tense, apply band. you tense your sit bones. And O mouth, exhale. Inhale, 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 Exhale, inhale, hold. As you hold your breath, I want you to tense your stomach, your chest, your shoulders, and your arms and your hands tight, tight. And along with that, also your sit bones and your legs and your feet. So your navel, sorry, your uh, throat chakra, your neck below, tense, 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 tense. Only your neck below, tense. And exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, louder, exhale, keep up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and hold. And as you hold your breath, tense your eyes, please. Tense your eyes, tighten your eyes, squeeze your eyes, tense your forehead, tense your forehead, tense your forehead, tense your temples, tense your temples, tense your ears, your ears, your jaws, your tongue, your palate, your skull, your skull, your skull, your brain, your brain, and your shoulders, and your chest, and your arms, and your navel, and your legs, and your sit bones, and your spine, and your feet, and your soles. Tense your whole body from head to toe. Hold, squeeze, squeeze, tense, apply Mulban. And squeeze your third eye and exhale. Last time, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, louder. Inhale, exhale. 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 Louder. Inhale, exhale. Those of you who are not doing it, please do the last few seconds. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, louder. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and hold. No locks, nothing, just hold the breath. Just hold the breath, just hold the breath. Nothing to add, nothing to delete, just hold. Tasmattar prane sthitte dehe, mrikam nev jayate, vayuna gat sambandate bhavetar keval kumbhkaram. The sutra says, as long as there's breath in your life, you'll experience consciousness. So why don't you just hold your breath and sit? Hold. Experience the consciousness. Those of you who are with me, those of you who did this, you will experience a whole shift in you. Hold, 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 hold the breath. Body is relaxed. Don't tense any part of the body. Hold, 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 
no tension in the body if anything any sensations you are feeling allow it to happen you are not intervening you are not entertaining anything you are just sitting and becoming witness and hold and exhale for one minute don't move <clears throat> become aware of every sensation in the body nothing to add nothing to delete thirty seconds don't move your eyes don't move your eyes just for next twenty seconds <clears throat> drop all your rights and wrongs drop all your rights and your wrongs Beautiful. Inhale, warm up, and hold, and let this breath be the breath of your consciousness. We are in the state of Satya, Chit, Ananda. Consciousness, aliveness, in the hereness and in the blissness of your being. And exhale. <clears throat> and very slowly open your eyes <clears throat> so this is <clears throat> a simple yet a powerful tool with you for you and uh, uh, these teachings that i have been sharing and i share uh, this have nothing to do with kri or 3ho these are the teachings as given in the lineage and if you are sharing this, if you are sharing this approach, it's a humble request to mention very clearly, these are the teachings of Yogi Amandip. I repeat, these are the teachings of Yogi Amandip. So, <clears throat> a beautiful Kriya, a beautiful meditation, a simple, it's the shifting of your awareness not your intention, your awareness. The art is in awareness. Kundalini yoga, <clears throat> yoga of awareness. So shifting your awareness, your subtle awareness. Uh, although we can, or we could have brought this in even deeper. And for that we need time. And I believe we have enough time. And so, when you're at home, practice this, and uh, this will help you to uh, come down into yourself. And as I mentioned, uh, this gives you access to the cosmic prana, neutral prana, or shushmana. So, Ida prana and the Pingala prana, though that is the Sanskrit name, and uh, the shushmana. Uh, because when you are uh, taking the breath, the ruh, the spirit, and it touches, it touches the most soft part in your body, and that is your tongue. And according to the yogi tradition, Prabhuji Basa Sadhuki Rasna, the divine sits on the tip of the tongue, and Kundalini in the form of Saraswati, in the, in the energy of wisdom sits in the tip of the tongue. So when you are taking the spirit, the, the prana, the ru, and uh, it uh, touches directly in the most subtle nerve, the most sensitive nerve, uh, just like kundalini, right, uh, moves and gives birth to, uh, you know, expanded consciousness, the tongue moves in the same manner. So this is the tip of the snake. You know, when Kundalini 
is represented by a snake. So when we are awakening, and this is where the tip is, the snake, the shesh naga it is called. The shesha naga, uh, you know. So this is the awakening of consciousness, awakening of uh, your awareness, and awakening of your world. Because the world is born out of your tongue. Uh, this is the red carpet. And this is the red carpet onto which you as an individual takes birth and uh, creates your uh, reality. So when we, instead of trying to create our reality, we come and we absorb the cosmic prana instead of me in the form of Ida and Pingala and individual localized consciousness, I shut myself. It's called the shutting of your mouth. That's what it means. You shut off. Allow the universe to speak. Allow the cosmos to speak. It creates silence in you. And in the words of Rumi, uh, the, God, the language of God is a silence. Everything else is a poor translation. I repeat, the language of the divine is silence. Everything else is a poor translation. So it's tearing off your poor translation. That's what it means. Tear off your poor, enough of your translations. Enough. You know? It's time for you to shut up. That's what it means. And allow the cosmos to come and kiss you. The lips, the kiss of consciousness. It's happening all the time. Just that you're not aware. Because the kiss, this is the Shakti, the matter, and this is Shiva, the spirit, coming in. And then when Shiva and Shakti, the Yogic Sutra says, Shiva Shakti ka khel mel prakirta prasara. When Shiva and Shakti is in union, a new world takes birth. A new understanding, a new realization takes birth. And that is called silence. That is antra sunnan, bahar sunnan. So direct kiss from the cosmos. And uh, I'm not in charge. Again, we started off with na mo. I'm not in charge. And we end with na mo. I'm not in charge. The cosmos is in charge. And this is the direct realization of that. I want to shut off myself. Ida and Pingala, stop. Let me assess the shushmana. 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 Means the quieting of the mind. And that happens. And if you can just do this for two and a half hours every day, you know, with this, just with this, dissolving and very important. Uh, these are the important keys that you will receive in the lineage. That is an example of that. No moving of the eye, the eyeballs. And uh, that gives you a deeper uh, dive into the field of consciousness. So with this realization, it's my privilege today and it's my blessings today. Uh, next week, we will see if we have time. We will also have some Q&A uh, in relation to what we practice today and uh, what we practice uh, next week. So, and, uh, so again, those of you who are not able to uh, sign in uh, through the Zoom, uh, we have a Facebook Live uh, going on at the same time. And uh, we should, I'm sure most, most of you are aware. And this recording that we have, uh, uh, we have set and uh, meditated, this will be uh, sent to all those who have registered. So uh, it will be on our YouTube channel. And then you can assess this again and again and again. And please share this. Uh, it's time that uh, we share these teachings uh, with the humanity. And uh, so share it with your friends. It's a simple science. It's a simple, beautiful, we are talking about the self. And then by talking about the self, you free yourself from the self and you experience your supreme self or your higher self, which has no concepts. It has no ideologies. It has no dogma. It has no idea of right and wrong. It witnesses what is happening. And it's by witnessing it, uh, it sees the drama uh, rather than intervening into it and uh, personalizing it and creating the drama into trauma. That's what is happening. Wherever you go from social media to sit with your whoever, 
everything around you. There's a drama going on. And then when you involve yourself into it, uh, that drama gives you trauma. So instead of uh, diving into what is happening, uh, the ancient sages mentions, mentions Sakshi Bhava, uh, become witness. And when you become a witness, uh, you break free from the trauma because you know it's a drama and then that gives the birth to a dharma, dharma. So with this realization, uh, it, is, it was my privilege to sit with you and share this ancient science of the living lineage, living lineage. It's called Sina Basina, which means transmission from heart to heart, not with any organization that, uh, you know, that changes this and changes that. The teachings as it is in its purest form has been handed in and uh, that is the grace of Guru Ramdas. And uh, may Guru Ramdas bless all of us with health, wealth and prosperity and the highest gift. And that is listening to your own heartbeat. So uh, let's uh, uh, tune out and uh, uh, hands in the center of the chest. The way we tune in, the same we tune out. And, uh, and uh, this is tuning out of the world, uh, staying in ourself even while we think we have tuned out. So hands in the center of the chest, reverence, 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 reverence for everything. And uh, we will I sing the song here and we will chant long satna. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. And we will chant long satna three times. Sa to see the moon, may we learn to see the sun, may we learn to see the oceans, and may we learn to see the sacred trees, may we learn to see the mountains, may we learn to see the rivers. And I bow to all those who have attained this realization, and I bow to all those who have compassion for themselves, and those who have compassion for the animals, Compassion for the animals. Compassion for the animals. Satna. So blessings to you. May Guru Ram Das bless all you with health, wealth, and prosperity. And the highest gift, and that is to spine straight, eyes closed, and sit. So thank you. So Devi Kiran, uh, if you have any announcements. And thank you, for the kirtan meeting again this sunday the 12th same time so in pacific standard time and yogi ji will guide us with missions uh, starting at 11 and we had estimated about an hour for this session and a half so i'm here for that um we do have a question here in the chat. Someone did ask about um, what's the maximum amount we should be doing or practicing this meditation. Yes, so <clears throat> start with 11 minutes. And uh, <clears throat> as you begin to dissolve yourself into this, you know, and uh, deleting your individual patterns, uh, the aim of uh, this practice is two and a half hours. But in the beginning, my friends, go slow. It's not about the two and a half hours. It's about how uh, easily you dissolve your identities and all your personality into the fire of rule, the fire of uh, the breath. So go with 11 minutes, then slowly increase. An individual, uh, as you go, after 11 minutes, you can rest for five minutes and do another 11 minutes rest. 
So the aim is to dissolve your individuality and not two and a half hours, although this Kriya can be done for two and a half hours. And, uh, so I hope that answers the question. People are, um, uh, they didn't get to the whole time. We did ask Yogi Amdeep spoke of. So don't worry, we have the whole thing recorded and we'll work on either You can always join him on Facebook on his page. Uh, so Devi Kiran, for some reason you are cutting off. I have no idea why. So I... Okay. Maybe type in the chat, let me know if they can hear me. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Repeat, um, we will be live streaming this on Facebook. If you didn't get into the Zoom account, we'll, we'll also working to to increasing the capacity to over 100 um but if we if you don't get in don't worry we'll stream and we're also recording the whole thing and offering is um a gift but if you feel inclined or would like to make a contribution you can do so um someone's saying they can't hear me you can do so at uh paypal making of a yogi all right i think that's Satnam, everyone. Thank you. See you next week. Oh, sorry. Next, this coming Sunday. <laughs> okay. Okay, Satnam, everyone.